Hey everyone, Darren Coley from the Next Level Sports Training again. In this video, we're going to be going over hand-eye coordination drills that we do with tennis balls and a racquetball. This is Tommy Nicholson, running back from Salem, New Hampshire. He did another video with us before. He's back to help us out and do a little demonstration. There's a lot of different drills we do for hand-eye coordination. This is just going to be a few of them that you can incorporate into your training. So what we're going to do is first work on left hand only, right hand only catches, and then double. We're going to do it as I'm facing Tommy, tossing the tennis balls to him. Then we're going to turn and face the wall to make it a little bit more difficult. So progression as we move up. Then to progress from that, we go to a racquetball that is smaller, bounces faster, and it's harder to pick up from the color of the wall, so it makes it a little more difficult. So let's just get right into it. The first one we're going to do is as I'm facing the athlete, in an athletic position, he's going to catch left hand only. We'll normally do like say 10 to 20. I'm just going to do a few to demonstrate right now. So left hand only, going to catch it, drop it in the bucket. Going to work all the way around. And as he gets, it, as you get better at it, you'll be able to throw it a lot faster, a lot harder. Now be able to come, a, uh, come in closer. So now we're going to go right hand only. Now you got to have nice soft hands when you're catching it. Catching it with your fingers. If you try to catch it with your palm, it's going to bounce right out. All right, so now we're going to go to two hands. Now, no matter where it goes, if it's way over to the right, you're still going to catch it with two hands, no matter where it is. So again, nice soft hands, catching it with the fingers, not with the palm of your hands. Again, the, the better he gets at it, the faster I'll get to throw it, and the closer I'll get to get to him. So just a couple more. All right. Way. Next one we're going to do, take the breast up from that. Now he's going to turn so he can't see the ball coming. I'm going to toss it off the wall in all different directions. Going across, going high, going low. And he's going to again catch it with one hand only, toss it back to you. So we're going to go left hand only. Left hand only. Can't catch with the palm, but it's going to bounce up just like that. There you go. Nice soft hands. Good. You're going to go high. You're going to go low. You're going to come around different angles. So the right hand. Go right hand only. Right hand only. There we go. Good. Good. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to go two hands. And again, no matter where it goes, you're going to catch it with two hands. No matter how far away from you it is, you can't go with one. Nice soft hands, just relax, trust your instincts. And again, the better he gets at this, the faster I'll be to throw it off the wall and the closer he can get, although he's really close now already. Okay? Now, next progression from that, going off the wall, we're going to use a racket ball. So you can see the difference. Real bright, easy to pick out, a little darker, harder to see coming off the wall, plus it's going to bounce faster and it's going to bounce out of your hands uh, more if you try to catch it with your palm. So we're just going to do a couple of each on this one. So left hand only. There you go. Get back up a step. Okay, now we go right hand only. Good. Good. And we'll go two hands. Here we go. Okay. One more. Alright, good. Now one more drill we can do for tennis ball. Just like when you do, if you're as a football player, if you're running back, defensive back, wide receiver, you work on over the head drill, you're going to do it with a tennis ball. It's a lot harder to find, pick out, you're going to catch it a lot softer. So if you catch this doing that, use the football will be a lot easier. So come on back and switch to the right way. So athletic position, looking up slightly, ball, 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 one more, ball. Excellent job, guys. Okay, so there's some uh, different tennis ball drills you can do for hand-eye coordination, different progressions you can use to work your way up. Uh, so again, there's a lot more, uh, depending on what sport you're playing, you can do it dribbling the basketball, toss it, you going to catch it. So we do all different ways, and there are other drills you can do for hand-eye coordination. But here's a few of them that hopefully you can incorporate into your workouts uh, to get a lot better with hand-eye coordination. Work up, you know, start out slow. As you get faster, don't get frustrated. As you get better, you can go a lot faster that way. So again, hopefully uh, this can help you out with your hand-eye coordination. If you have any other topics you'd like us to cover, please contact me at Darren at the next level sports training.com or contact Robert Craig, uh, the high school sports junkie and the coach.
Thank you very much. Hope to see you again.